Welcome back to episode number three of the Lazio Champions League vlogs. We started off at Atletico Madrid where we got a 90th minute goalkeeper goal and second time out Celtic away with Pedro scoring a 94th minute winner. But today is a little bit different because there's no Lazio fans whatsoever. We're going to Feyenoord away but I'm in the Feyenoord end. Because Feyenoord fans are banned from going to Rome it also means Lazio fans are not allowed to travel to Feyenoord. That's the new UEFA rule. And we have made it to Amsterdam. This place just looks like a maze. Obviously, Feyenoord isn't in Amsterdam, so we've got to get a train to Rotterdam 30 minutes away. Right, Rotterdam Central. I guess we just jump on that. Haven't got a Scooby-Doo. And I presume I have to get one of these in. One way, Rotterdam Central. Oh, 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 what's all this then? I don't even know what route here. Yeah. Let's go cheap. That will do. Here we go. <laughs> So I have just realised that I've left my UK to EU adapters at home. I've realised that I've left my jumper at home, so I'm very cold. Oh my days, the weather looks absolutely awful. It's really not ideal, is it? I'm not even going to lie, I'm going to have to buy a coat here. The weather is so bad and I'm down so bad, it's so cold. I had to purchase the coat and i tell you what, since buying it, I have not felt the cold, so that's a positive. It's definitely doing its job. One thing I should say is that Feyenoord fans have been asking me to still attend this game, even though Lazio fans are still not allowed to be inside the stadium. After attending the fixture last year where they obviously won 1-0, stadium just exploded. It was one of the most mental scenes I've ever seen inside a stadium. The ground was shaking, the pyros were being set off. It was absolutely unbelievable and that is why I've got so much respect for Feyenoord fans. I'm just very thankful that I can actually be inside that stadium to show what the atmosphere is like at Feyenoord because they've got some of the best fans in the world. I'm not going to disrespect Feyenoord. I really respect their supporters and let's hope for a good atmosphere and a good game. I must say though, this place is quite nice despite the weather. It's actually not too bad at all. I'll tell you one thing, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous about this game now. I just know if Feyenoord score, the stadium is gonna absolutely explode like it did last year. But if Lazio score, I can't react in the slightest. I will be showing you respect and I hope Feyenoord fans watching this, you can see that from it. From what I've seen online, Feyenoord and Lazio fans have got a little bit of respect for each other, which is great to see. I just know the atmosphere is gonna be phenomenal today, but really weird without any away fans. And here we go, we've made it to Dukui, buzzing for this game, hour and a half to go, here we go. It's just a proper football stadium. Maybe in memories they're for sure doing that in recent years i hope i don't get recognized too much because it could be an issue if you know what i mean this is the entrance and i'm going to be collected here to go inside champions club at this point i genuinely didn't know what ticket i had and it didn't take me long to realize what was going on the final chairman was about and i met the lazio directors who knew who i was which was brilliant so where we are right now is where the directors are ex-players honestly everyone associated towards lazio and final i'm in the boardroom right now where everyone's having their dinner food drinks any any Thing. I can't believe this right now. So now we're in the players' lounge bit. So we were with like the board of directors of each Lazio and Feyenoord. Now we're in the players' lounge bit. This is just ridiculous. Where all the players' families would be before the game. Having drinks, whatever, this is crazy. I still can't get over how mental this is. Just look at the place. It's nuts. I didn't expect to meet anyone from Lazio. I mean, I meet the board of directors of Lazio. What's going on? Right, it's time to enter this stadium. Look at it. It's just a proper football stadium and I'm excited. Look at the queue to get in as well. Look at that. Would hate to be <laughs> waiting in that one. And here we go. Look at this. We are inside. This is where I was last time in the away end. Look at that. All closed off. But it's for home fans this time. And here are the Lazio players training. Oh, come on, the boys. You can tell this atmosphere is going to be absolutely electric. It's just a proper football ground. Every time I'm here, I'm always so impressed. I'll tell you one thing. These heaters are doing absolute wonders. They're keeping me nice and toasty right now. 20 minutes till kickoff. atmosphere for big occasions and the Champions League it doesn't get much bigger than that honestly this music's just crazy right now and here come the players here we go then Feyenoord versus Lazio wait for the cheers here there you go this is big this is absolutely huge This just feels so good at this point. And there we go. We're on the way here.
Celebrations were just ridiculous. Oh, it's offside. It's offside. No goal given. I don't know what's going on at this point. The fans are absolutely raving. This is such a hostile atmosphere right now. Since that disallowed goal, it's just, I wouldn't say woke them up, but it's just made them explode even more, these supporters. They've lost their heads last year, they lost the composure. The intensity from the crowd, the hostile atmosphere, really getting to them. And I feel as Gimenez has actually scored this time, and it will be given. They're having an absolute party, look at that. Even the other side as well, look at them. They have deserved the one they'll lead in all fairness. The atmosphere is just ridiculous at the point, it's a, it's a joke. Oh no. And now it's our time. They have been all over Lazio, dominated them. And we're back out for the second half here. Let's not make this embarrassing. Can't see if I can, if I can work it right. I've never heard anything like it. Obviously, it's no away to celebrate. I've never heard an away goal. There is a pin drop like that. It's a can, yeah. It's not bad ball, you know. And that is it. 3 1 to Feyenoord. The three points goes to the Dutch club. It was quite a difficult watch that, I must say. Because I felt like first half, it wasn't up to Lazio stand. The second half was, they had his chances, didn't put him away. The Lazio players got no one to go and clap and thank, to be fair. It's just me and I'm up here, but I don't know that. But that was a really good game of football, to be honest. A really, really fiery encounter, and that was exactly that. <laughs> the game we went back to the boardroom and the players lounge before heading back home i can't really put into words what i've experienced tonight because i had one of the most exclusive tickets possibly at a football match ever i was in the boardroom hospitality no one could buy that ticket i met the directors of lazio the directors and chairman of feyenoord i met so many important people today and i met the players at full time after the game the worst part was lazio actually losing the game but nevertheless i can't control the football the experience was unbelievable the fact that the lazio directors all recognized and knew who i was as well was very special but that experience tonight was up there is one of the best in my life it was fantastic despite the loss unbelievable and thank you guys for watching this video make sure you leave a like subscribe i'll be back for Feyenoord at home in rome and let's hope the results better in that one see you later